and let's talk about some nasty stuff some nasty 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 things okay some disgusting things disgusting you want to hear disgusting things vince mcmahon brothers accused of sex trafficking by wwe staff that he paid to keep quiet imagine getting diddled imagine getting diddled by someone that looks like that fucking hell bro imagine getting diddled by somebody that looks like that yucky 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 so curse of the wall street journal a woman who received payouts from wwe boss vince mcmahon has accused McMahon of a com- and the company and a former executive of sex trafficking in a new lawsuit that raises questions about the breadth of the internal company's probe conducted by a law firm last year. Janelle Grant, a former employee at the wrestling firm's headquarters, said in a lawsuit filed on Thursday that she was abused sexually exploited by McMahon while he was chief executive. You know what's really sad about this and really damaging? This isn't even like abuse of female wrestlers, which doesn't make it right but you know what i mean it's not even like that type of stuff it's abuse within the headquarters of the wwe like backroom staff like mid you know c-suite people office people fucking horrendous bro she alleged that mcmahon lured her with promises of a career development and then allegedly exploited her and trafficked her to other men in sack yo fucking hell Grant signed a London school. Imagine getting somebody to sign an NDA because you abused them. You have to be a real sicker. She signed a London agreement in 2022 in which the man agreed to pay $3 million for her not to discuss a relationship or disparage him. The WWE received an anonymous. How can you do that though? Can you? Is that legal? Can you sign an NDA and then break it even though you got paid? So you didn't get paid twice. You kind of double dip. You sign an NDA. You get abused, obviously, that's horrible. You get the money, but then you change your mind later and then you do a story about it or you sue and then you get more money. The WWE received an anonymous tip in 2022 about a relationship and started a board, a broad invest, to a board investigation, which uncovered other payments by CEO to women. By the CEO to other women. Jesus. Grant's lawsuit said McMahon stopped making payments under the 2022 deal after the initial $1 million installment. Okay, this is why, what a piece of shit. You make me sign an NDA and then you don't even pay the full amount. Can you imagine what kind of a piece of shit you have to be? You abuse me. You take advantage of me. You make me sign an NDA. You agree to pay me $3 million, and then you only pay $1 million of the $3 million. Okay, if I'm that girl, fuck you, bro. I'm taking you to court again. Breaking the NDA, I'm going to run your entire pockets. Fuck you and your bloodline. I'm with that girl. Big up that girl. The lawsuit is, re- is, to re- is um, repl- uh, what's that? A uh, replete. Uh, how's, how's she say that word? Is replete. Replete. I never heard of that word. Replete. This lawsuit is replete with lies, obscene made up instances that never occurred and vindictive distortion of the truth to the spokesman of McMahon. He will vigorously defend himself. TKO Group, an entertainment giant that was um, recently formed by the merger of WWE and UFC, mixed martial arts leaks in a statement. While this matter predates the TKO executive's team tenure at the company, we take Mrs. Grant's referee allegations very seriously and are addressing the matter internally. Do you think there's a possibility Again, this is really cynical for me to say this, but is it possible that this was known and they rushed the deal forward with the UFC? Do you think this is possible that they knew about this shit and they rushed that that UFC merger forward to make sure it didn't affect the fucking deal in any way, shape or form? Yo, burying sexual abuse for the betterment of of the stock exchange and shit and the share price is dark burying sexual abuse to prop up the share price is fucking dark bro that is dark shit (laughs) can you imagine what must be going on out there that they would sweep under the rug stuff like that like god damn um, jerry mcdevitt 
McMahon's attorney at the time said in 2022 that the woman whose name wasn't in a public um, had made hasn't made allegations of harassment. In a statement when the Wall Street Journal first reported on McMahon's $3 million settlement, WWE said the relationship was consensual and that it was taken seriously. Allegations of McMahon had engaged in misconduct. You know what's funny about this actually? Thinking about it now, this is similar to the Harvey Weinstein thing. Part of Harvey Weinstein's downfall was that he didn't just stop at people that were desperate for fame because if the really troubling and sad thing about the Harvey Weinstein situation was that allegedly he was known as somebody that always fulfilled that always um uh, what's that thing called that was always true to his word strange thing to say somebody has a fucking convicted fucking rapist and shit but the the, the word around Hollywood was that if he promised a woman a role or an audition in a certain movie for an exchange to suck his dick he would always follow through so that is what kind of helped to kind of keep all that abuse under wraps and not in public and kind of hush hush and kind of like open secret because he always followed through his promises and basically launched people's careers but then when he started to get a little bit too crazy and started to abuse and sexually harass and rape you know, uh, what you call it, um, cleaners and people that were just regular people that weren't involved in the entertainment industry. That's when it, that's when it kind of unraveled because then he started to like take advantage of people that weren't even in that state of like what willing to make that kind of exchange. And it seems the same with the Vince McMahon thing. Probably you can maybe get away with, you know, maybe taking advantage of a female wrestler that wants to get in the industry because they're so desperate to get involved, right? They can maybe, you know, justify that abuse but when you start abusing regular C-level suite people that just want to do their job, that's when it gets a bit fucking crazy. It sounds odd, but this sounds like the same sort of thing um, where you just, you know, you get too crazy on your power and you think you can get away with it forever. And then obviously it comes tumbling down. In a statement when the Wall Street Journal first reported, uh, uh, Mr. McMahon briefly retired from WWE in 2022 following a reporting of the journal. Um, the journal reported that the board's independent directors had retained the law firm Simpson and Thatcher to conduct the investigation. So he retired and then came back when the coast was clear and now he's quit again. Fucking crazy guy. Simpson's Thatcher investigation found 40... Oh my God. Simpson, Simpson Thatcher investigation found $14.6 million in payments by the CEO to women who had accused him of sexual misconduct that should have been booked as business expenses. In November 2022, WWE said the board investigation was completed and the company restated past um, security filings. McMahon repaid the company for the cost of the investigation and returned soon after. Surely, you have to be a real sicko. You pay people you pay 14.6 million in payments for all your abuse, but at no point do you think, should I just stop my abusing? Should I just stop being a piece of shit? Should I stop being a creep? Should I stop being a diddler? Should I stop being a monster? At no point do you think that you just keep cutting people checks. Can you imagine? 14.6 mil, and he paid it off and then got his job back. <laughs> Can you imagine how much money this guy has? He's able to pay off 14.6 as a business expense and sent, wire it back to the company and then got back his job. The lawsuit complicates the legal picture around this, um, the 70 year old, 78 year old McMahon. Federal prosecutors have been investigating the payouts and in July 2023, agents executed a search warrant for McMahon's phone and served him with a grand um, jury subpoena. No charges have been brought. Actually, thinking about it, he's 78. Do you think this is what Joe Rogan will end up looking like when he gets old and he can't and TRT doesn't hit the same? Do you think Rogan will end up looking like this? This is what Rogan will end up, this is what Rogan's end up looking like. Do you think this is what Rogan will end up looking like when TRT and HGH stop working? <laughs> he's going to look like this, isn't it? I swear he is. He's going to look like this. Rogan's going to end up looking like that. I'm almost certain of it. He's going to look like that. I can't wait to see what Rogan looks like when he's 60. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I really am curious to see what it looks like. Throughout this experience, I have always denied my any eternal wrongdoing and continue to do so. I am confident the government's investigation will be resolved without any findings of wrongdoings. Locked off its doors. Wow, look at the look at that. That's how you know some creep shit's going on. When you see a building like this with these sort of like mirrored glass thing going on where you can't really look on the inside, this is some creepo shit. 
Anytime you see a building like this, you know some shit's going down. Look at that. Look look at the headquarters of WWE. It's basically a mirrored cube. Dicey, dicey. Sorry. The lawsuit filed in Connecticut Federal Court describes in graphic detail Grant's account of interactions with the businessman and TV personality. She alleges that McMahon and other executives locked her in an office in the WWE's headquarters in, Stam in Stamford, Connecticut on July, June 15th, sorry, 2021, and took and took turns sexually assaulting her while other staff were working during a work day they locked her into a room and oh my god in the middle of another work day on june the 1st 20, 23rd 2021 mcmahon locked grant inside his private locker room at ww offices and forced himself on her so this young lady in 2021 had to have had to endure this skeletal i don't know what you'd call him looking dude this old saggy skin bag of shit rubbing his little fucking viagra dick all over her can you imagine how sick she must have felt at the end of the day can you imagine how disgusted you must have felt this melted candle rubbing his little fucking minko like, uh. yeah even free meal is not enough for that level of abuse man i don't blame her for breaking the nda fuck you man pay me pay me man um the suit also includes screenshots of illicit text messages that the man allegedly sent to grant yeah um grant we're gonna actually see the messages in a minute grant also alleged that mcmahon shared nude photos and explicit videos of her without consent with other employees unnamed executives and stars directed her to have sex with them the suit states in july 2020 text that said others at wwe wanted to have sex with her <laughs> holy shit holy shit bro they were passing around the office like she was a fucking office stapler or some shit Yo, this is so dark, man. This is so fucking dark. God damn. Um, went to have sex with her. The suit uh, and a group laughed. And when he told them she may scream and tried to say no. Oh my God. She may scream and try to say no. Although it'd be difficult to say anything with a cock down her throat. <laughs> can you imagine him typing that with these fucking old grubby wrinkly hands on an android like like that with, with one hand like a boomer um grant alleged the board investigation was a sham she was invited she wasn't interviewed by the board special committee it alleged the company diverted attention away from mcmahon's abuse by focusing on the accounting on the payouts others at wwe knew mcmahon's misconduct but worked to conceal the wrongdoing according to a law so of course that's always the most concerning part same with the wine scene thing yes the monsters are horrible and they do need to be exterminated and put down and buried under a jail but one of the worst things about most of these kind of powerful powerful men taking advantage of young women like this is always the mechanism and the infrastructure around them that basically helps them to get away with that shit that's the one that thing that's the thing that breaks your heart when you read those things you're like shit especially when it involves other women who kind of conspire to hide the truth or to conceal what's happening it's like that will make you question your you know your humanity and shit or your faith in humanity um Jeff Speed, a former WWE board member who led the co board's investigation, said on Thursday that he remained confident in the investigation, which included an outreach to Grant and engagement with her lawyer. He highlighted that McMahon left the company during the investigation while recognizing the horrific nature of the investigations, allegations to today's lawsuit. I'm not living to comment. McMahon, also a controlling shareholder of WWE, returned to WWE in nearly 2023, lifted himself to the. <sighs> McMahon, controlling shareholder of WWE, returned to WWE in early 2023 elected himself board and replaced several directors 
After all that madness he'd done, upon his return, he negotiated to sell WWE to an Endeavor Group, owner of UFC. The deal created TKO Group and gave WWE an enterprise value of $9.3 billion. The man's executive chairman and shared of TKO. This week, Netflix bought the rights to WWE Raw and other WWE shows in a deal valued at $5 billion. McMahon celebrated by giving the opening bell with other TKOs. Oh, so they're going to show WWE on Netflix now. Shit. Big up Crash. Appreciate you, bro. Who is worse? Diddy or Vinny? Heard it both ways. <sighs> you have to say, you have to say Vinny because I don't think this is the only victim. There was other victims that probably don't want to come forward. Did he at least, not at least, you know, Cassie still got her life ruined, but it's mostly only one person I've seen. So um, there's another Jane Doe, I think. But Vince McMahon, you know, he was abusing a lot of people, you know? Um, but let's continue. Uh, has to look legit. No, this was a... And Collins, the lawyer of Grant, said that the history, he said history of deprived act behavior... It's time that he takes responsibility for the misconduct of your leadership. Um, Grant lawsuit. Yeah, look what he looks look look what he used to look like. Jesus, bro. Um What? No way. They sent us a picture in 2022. Do you guys do, do you guys watch wrestling, by the way? Can you tell me if this is real? They're saying in a in this image credit. McMahon at a WWE event in April 2022. This is that, that's what it looked like in 2022. What the fuck happened? How do you go from that to that? That. <laughs> that's fucking nuts. Yo. Oh my god. 2022. You look like this. Shit. All right. Um, let's quickly check this stuff. Grant lawsuit alleged that the McMahon in March 2019, after an in introduction from a manager in an apartment building, McMahon lived in the penthouse of the same building and Grant was looking for a job after her parents had died. <sighs> That's bleak, isn't it? She's vulnerable. Oh, God almighty. God almighty, bro. The ability of abusers to sniff out people like this is almost uncanny in it how they're able to just sniff out people who are you know already going through it it's fucking wild looking for a job after her two parents had died when her, when they met mcmahon allegedly made promises of a job at wwe and showered grant with gifts dream meetings that were supposed to be about the job he greeted her with he greeted her in his underwear and repeatedly asks for hugs. Oh, of course, Vince McMahon is where's my hug at type of guy. Of course, he's where's my hug at. Of course, Vince McMahon is a CEO and a board director of where's my hug at. Of course. Then the suit said he pressured her into sexual activities in return to employment. And uh, and what? And uh, warned her to stay quiet about his inter the interactions. Grant began working for him in 2019. Big up Abby Martinez. He's very old, bro. Can't use steroids forever. Tell that to Rogan. I mean, Martina, tell that to Rogan. I think Rogan thinks he can. I think Rogan thinks he's got the cheat. He's got the cheat mechanism. He's got the... Tell that to Rogan. Rogan thinks he's going to watch. Rogan is one of those guys. He thinks he can do, do it forever. For sure. Um, but big up, Avi Martinez. Appreciate you, my G. Um, a Bishop McMahon created in, uh, um, for her in WWE's legal department administrator coordinator <laughs> he gave her a fake role <laughs> oh god she said that she expressed concern that, that the job felt unearned but the man told her that all she needed to do was not tell anyone and that it's just to look legit colleagues complained about overflowing inboxes but grant had little work meanwhile mcmahon allegedly sent her sexually explicit messages and his sexual demands and can you imagine how isolating that must have been for her she gets given a role that she doesn't deserve or hasn't earned. She doesn't do much day to day. Her other colleagues probably see that she doesn't do much. She probably gets ostracized by her other colleagues. They don't invite her to lunch. They don't invite her to drinks. She's probably on her own. She doesn't hang around with people on the same level as her. So she has to hang out with all the executives above level. And I'm assuming all executives are probably all dudes, right? It's probably a, a bit of a boys club in there. So she's the only girl hanging out with all these old men, 
creepy. Pfft. It must have been a nightmare. But that's the definition of golden handcuffs. You're, you're getting money. You're getting paid well. You don't want to quit because you've got no other options. You're kind of, you know, you can't go anywhere else. You you can't hang. You don't have friends here because people think you don't deserve the role. It's what an awful position to be in. In March 2020, McMahon began showing special exhibition photographs with Grant, including other WWE executives and a former UFC heavyweight champion. <laughs> with who the UFC actively trying to sign? Is that fucking Brock Lesnar? No. Sorry, is that the other guy? Who else that could that be? That's the thing you're getting it. That big white dude. What's his fucking name? That has to be him, right? A former w UFC heavyweight champion with whom the UFC, the WWE was actively trying to sign a new contract. <laughs> Oh my God, man. Bless her, man. She was going through it. Fuck me. In May 2022 encounter, McMahon de defecated on her head. Excuse me? In May 2020, McMahon shit on her head during a threesome. Wow. It's bad enough you have to fuck a 60, 70 year old guy and then he shits on your head because he can't handle his, his bowel movements are... Okay. Her mental and physical health deteriorated so badly that McMahon sent her in November to a celebrity doctor for sessions at an alternative clinic where she never received any receipts or bills. McMahon also paid 20000 to a surgeon on her behalf. McMahon recruited people to have sex with Grant as well, including WWE's former head of talent relations, John Lurinaitis. Lurinaitis. Sounds like, it sounds like John Urin. Um, let's, let's call him John Piss, who is named and this defendant in the suit. McMahon directed her to visit Piss at his hotel um, where she had sex with Piss prior to the start of the workday. The suit at leisure. I've left the hotel feeling bad about myself every time. So I guess she was weirdly enough doing all this stuff because she wanted to feel like she earned her role. So she just started fucking everyone that they told her to fuck. Oh, God. What a nightmare. In May 2021, McMahon allegedly told Grant that her presence in the legal department was holding up the hiring of a new general counsel and thus transferred the talent relations department reporting to Pierce. McMahon and Pierce started her new in the lower level position but promised that she would be promoted to vice president. <laughs> vice president, you know. McMahon controlled her professional and personal lives, suggested to degradation, according to a suit in 2021 encounter inside the WWE office. The suit said McMahon and Piss forced themselves on her and took turns restraining her to the other while saying no means yes and take it, bitch. Piss and former wrestler known as Johnny Ace and longtime executive left the company in 2022. Piss has probably commented on the departure. Piss didn't respond. WWE superstar. Oh, that's him, right? Brock Lesnar, yeah. In June, July 2021, the suit said McMahon instructed Grant to create a personalized sexual content for WWE superstar that they were trying to re sign. So he tried to get Brock Lesnar to re sign by sending him nudes of this girl. The suit didn't name the professional wrestler, but described him as both UFC talent and WWE talent. Both familiar with the matter indicated, identified the wrestler Brock Lesnar, one of the big UFC WWE's biggest names. Lesnar didn't respond. The suit said McMahon shared explicit photos with the star and informed Grant he likes what he sees after the star. <laughs> oh, God almighty, bro. <laughs> McMahon texted Grant 2021 and said that was part of the fucking deal. That December, McMahon gave Grant personal cell phone number to WWE star. The wrestler asked her to send a video of herself. You, oh my God, bro. Of, of course it couldn't just be normal shit. He wanted her to send a video of her pissing.
The rest of it asks her to send asked her to send a video of herself urinating, the suit says. After she did, he called her a bitch. <laughs> oh honestly, bro. Honestly. The same month the suit said the star expressed desire to set desire to set a play date, but the snowstorm disrupt a snowstorm saved this girl. Thank God for Mother Nature. In January 2022, the suit said McMahon told Grant that his wife, Linda McMahon, had discovered a relationship and he pressured Grant to sign an NDA to exchange for payments. So Linda McMahon, instead of telling her husband to stop or reporting the shit to the whatever police or whatever. She decided to tell her husband to get her to force her to sign an NDA. Linda McMahon, you're a fucking animal. Um, the CEO warned Grant of a reputational big up. Um, Abby Martinez, appreciate you. Regular Saturday activities. W, my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, what again? Urinated on. The CEO warned Grant. Big up, everyone. Yeah. Look, if you want to do that, if you want to. If you want to piss on your girlfriend or she wants to piss on you, all well and true good, but I don't know. Pissing on your employees is wild. Or getting your employees to send videos of pissing to acquire or to get your prospective clients to sign a new deal is insane. The CEO warned Grant of reputational ruin that the included that included photographic um pornographic sorry content that he had of her he paid her about one million in february the suit said later stop making the payments that's the really scummy part you're gonna abuse somebody then you're not gonna follow through the payments like you deserve to get all the fucking money sued from you after grant signed the nda mcmahon continued the abuse according to the suit alleged that he forced grant to perform oral sex on him last time they met and they attempted to traffic her to wwe star in March 2022, she texted her specific photos as Director McMahon, but it didn't meet the suit says. The lawsuit seeks a judgment that the NDA is invalid under state and federal law and compensatory and punitive damages under other laws. This might actually ruin McMahon, which is a good thing. I'm not sure if it'll ruin the WWE, but this will definitely ruin him personally. She's gonna get a massive payout out of this because this is some heinous shit, especially when you read the fucking Texas as well. I'm guessing Vince is the yeah, Vince is the grey one. I love it. That's you, Janelle. You just can't get enough, can you? It's interesting the bits that he's choosing not to spell out. Um, in future, it's going to be so bad that you'll demand to be fucked twice a day and not just with a freeway or something. You're not, you, why not let others see the beautiful, voluptuous body and watch you shake uncontrollably when you come? <laughs> when you come yo you're 70 bro you shouldn't be texting this shit you are 70 they'll go out of their minds they'll find more friends and will tie you up so you're helpless i'll direct them this sounds like some reddit slutty confession shit this sounds like big up the reddit slutty confessions crew this sounds like some reddit fucking fan fiction this 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 is definitely giving one of those things <laughs> Do you think <laughs> they'll go out of their minds? Oh, big up Uche. Big up hey, what's good? Now Uche? this is what I'd call a big brand breakdown. I just got what you mean actually. Oh, you're disgusting. You are a disgusting person. I just it just clicked in my brain from what you meant. <laughs> oh, yeah, please don't. Please don't do that again. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's disgusting. Big up, Uche. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> That's what I <laughs> Yeah, please, not again. Big up, Uche. It's funny because... Everyone's human shit is different, but when you see human shit, you know what human shit looks like. Anyway, thank you, Uche. Let's continue. <sighs> I'll direct them to have their way, their way in any way they want. Who can make honestly? How much tech? Just fuck the girl, man. What is all this text? 
This is not text. This is not sexting. This is sex noveling. Who can make her? How can make you scream the loudest? Three exclamation marks. Maybe I'll just line them up and have them squirt in your mouth. Your pussy all over your tits and ass all at the same time. You'll be covered in cum. <laughs> we'll make you eat it all and taste everybody's cum. The next morning, you'll be. Yeah, the next morning you'll be a little bit sore, but you're still going to want more. Your lyrics after that, you're fucking over and over. And maybe he wants two other guys to join you with him. Holy shit! You told him you would do anything with him. So if he surprised you with two others, you would have no alternative than to take them on. Three exclamation marks. Oh my god! The stories you could tell them. It makes me want to come right now. Yo, Vince, you're a fucking, you deserve jail, bro. By the way, I just thought of what I think is an excellent idea. Maybe you can hear that if he knows something who, someone who can be discreet, it might be better if you and Johnny try him out first so he can get more comfortable before he's introduced to me. Actually, that makes total sense, doesn't it? Yo. Look how many texts he's... Look at the novels he's sending her and she just sends one bubble. Give me another week, baby. Look how many novels. Exactly, baby. It's not only one. He called me this afternoon begging to eat you and fuck you with his nice dick. Give me another week, baby. I'll be ready. I'm feeling more like myself. It's not great, but it's getting better. Tell me... Tell him soon. I already told him, baby. By the way, Johnny wants Tuesdays, but not this coming one and the occasional Saturday. But maybe I can shift it to Thursday. Johnny like, <laughs> would like to be on, of the above. <gasps> Ari, your last picture. You need your panties ripped off by three black dicks. Yo. In all three holes. What, what are the three holes? Oh, the mouth as well. Sorry. I'm so naive. I was like, what? Women doesn't have free holes. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I was like, well, where are the free holes? Huh? Way up on your pussy. Um, way up. Why is he spelling pussy like that, brother? Pussy. Pussy. And way up on your ass and far as they. Oh my God. Way up your ass as far as they will go, but even farther. The thickest cock goes down your throat so it makes you gag and convulse as those big black cocks pound away. It feels like from the start you're being assaulted. <laughs> but it made you come. <laughs> My mom is asking why I watch Rod Wave read erotic novels. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your mum, man. Sting a good mum. Fuck you. I'm like, I'm like 200 pounds lighter than fucking, you know, Rodway. Maybe 300 pounds. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> but big up Sting a good. Appreciate you, brother. Just one continuous orgasm just before you pass out. Those big black dicks squirt. Their loads of cum inside you. As you lay on your stomach, the cum is coming out of you or your all your holes. I'll turn you over and jack off. So they fuck him. Anyway, anyway, whatever. Yo, Vince is a fucking dirty boy, bro. I just passed my phone around to a bunch. I just passed my phone around to a bunch of guys in the tech crew. They were screaming. Two exclamation marks. Oh my God. She's fucking beautiful. Look at that ass. I'd like to get that. I paused to count out loud how many guys they were. 12. I then said, okay, there's 12 of you. She would love to fuck each and every one of you at one time. The guys cheered, but she will only do it if it takes three at a time. This sounds like Brian Callum, bro. This sounds like what Brian Callum will be on. Actually, Vince McMahon kind of looks like Brian Callum, isn't it? 
This is what Brian Callan will look like, isn't it, when he's that age? This is Brian Callan. <laughs> this is what Rinks will actually look like. Rinks. Fucking hell. Um, but she will only do three. She wants one deep in her ass, one the way down her throat, one in her pussy. You can pound her and keep on pounding her till you pop your load. She may scream and try to say no, although that would be difficult to say anything with a cock down her throat. They laughed. I then said, listen, he sends her fucking novels. No matter what, just pound away till you squirt. Doesn't that sound like rape? She says, no, that means yes. Just keep fucking. Isn't that rape? But hey, what do you know? Um, baby, these guys are having a blast with me. Oh, are they jacking you off, Vince? Some of them didn't even believe me. So I said, look, let me fuck you the way I fuck her. <laughs> so I said, you were the greatest fuck in the world. No matter how much you got, you always wanted more. And then I said, she loves cum. Baby. <laughs> Yo, Vince McMahon's cum must come out like fucking, you know, you're trying to squeeze the last bit of mayo outside of your, out of your bottle. So why is he like coming so much? His cum must look like, his cum must come out in fucking fragments. You know what I mean? His cum must look like my stream sometimes. Like, uh, 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 uh. Why is he like infatuated with this so much, bro? Like, you're not exactly, I don't know. She loves cum, baby. I then said you, 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 you would take a 10 minute break between each fucking but then you'd get back on your hands and knees with your ass in the air and say, okay, I'm ready. Who's next? I drove them wild, baby. Or should I say you drove them wild? Just imagine with this really happened, baby, how much cum you would have coming out of your holes. <sighs> I'm done. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I think I'm done. I think I'm done reading that shit. I don't want any more fucking talk about Vince McMahon's cum. Anyways, um, I'm sure most of you aren't, aren't surprised that Vince McMahon has now resigned. <laughs> I'm sure you're all aware that Vince McMahon has resigned from the TKO Board of Directors following the sexual abuse <laughs> lawsuit. I'm sure that comes as no surprise. I'm sure that comes as no surprise that Vince McMahon has resigned. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell bro what a disturbed animal what a disturbed fucking creature bro uh.